Hi, I'm Don Benson, inventor of the Easy Hold Jeweler Saw Vice, which has become a standard for the jewelry and hobby industry. I'm doing this video to clear up some confusion about its uses and how it's attached to your work area. True, a standard bench pin is at an angle for ease of filing when you put attach it to your workbench. But a jeweler saw vise needs to be upright for the ease of cutting. It has a very powerful spring and it's not very easy to open it up. So you need to attach it to something, either a countertop or a workbench. A simple C-clamp works very well. Just clamp it down. Now you can easily open the jaws for use. Here I am at my jeweler's, saw, a jeweler's bench, and uh, as you can see, a standard bench pin is always put in an angle for ease of filing. However, with the logo up, the jeweler's saw vise is attached to a horizontal position to make it much easier to do sawing. So when you put a blade in the saw, you always want to compress the frame and then tighten the blade so it's got a nice little ting. When you place things in, place them in in the middle of the jaws, and then go ahead and saw away. Sometimes you can add a little pressure to it, but sometimes you don't need to. It's always nice to have a little bit of jeweler's saw lube, which really helps the sawing go much easier. I like to hold things down with my blade, with my blade in action, and it's easy. You don't. You turn the saw instead of the work, but you can also take the work and move it like this, and then keep moving. This is a pendant I'm working on, and I want it to be opened back, and so the easiest way to do this is to drill a hole, and I want to cut the center out. So you put the saw blade through the hole that I've drilled, Put it in the saw vise. Again, you want to collapse the saw vise so the blade is nice and tight. Then you just open up the saw vise, set the piece in, and begin to saw. Leave it. Just leave the piece in the saw, and then you just open the jaws and bring it around. Again, it stays in the saw, you move the saw over with the object in it, and then you just saw it right out. And if there's any mistakes like I made there at first, you can easily correct those because it's in the saw vise. You can go from another direction, like this. And we can file that out, and that's As you can see, it works great for flat stock, like splitting shanks, making rings. Or round stock, either metal or wood, you can easily saw things. It holds them very firmly, whether thick or thin, as you can tell the brass was really thick that I was cutting here. And of course, wood or metal and shell, of course. Be sure to watch for future videos where I'll be showing how to do some inlays, like... As a luthier, it's really essential to be able to take this jeweler's saw vise and do headstock veneers like this. And I'll be doing some of those videos in the future, so be sure and watch and I'll show you how to do it. inlays as well as other jewelry and luthier work as well. And thank you for watching.